Hey guys, Scott Jelinski, Modern Samurai Project. Um, a lot of you know that I've come out with my own pro model in conjunction with Tier 1. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about to explain the features of the holster uh, that I collaborated them with. Uh, the problem is, I haven't had any time to teach you so many classes. So I'm out here with my buddy Jim Dexter. We're at the Ohio Tactical Office Association. We just gave a little uh, one hour lecture Jim did on uh, the implementation of the red dot pistol for patrol. So we got a second, we got a good acoustic room, so here we go. Uh, so again, this is my pro model holster made in conjunction with tier one concealment. What you have in here is a full size five inch PDP. Uh, it's a universal holster based off the light. Right now, it is available for the uh, Surefire X300U. We are working on the TLR1. We are working on the uh, new Mod Light one that is supposed to be coming out soon. Uh, so what are some of the features here? Again, universal holster based off the light. Uh, the first thing you'll kind of see that's kind of unique is the curve angle of the plastic clips. Now these clips here are from tier one. I happen to really like these, right? Because of the way they're made and kind of how it comes up into a uh, hexagonal crown. I just made that word up. Uh, is that it actually pinches onto the belt, right, for more secure uh, placement onto the belt. But if you also notice, right, there's notches in between each of the screw mounting points. That's so you don't have to take all the hardware off, right, so that you can just unscrew it a little bit, lift it up, and shift it up and down uh, to whatever is perfect for your carry position height and things of that nature. The curve of it makes it, this goes in, this pushes it in just a little bit more for concealment, um, depending on uh, you know what type of clothing you're wearing, your belt and things of that nature, and your body type, okay? And again, custom for ride height and things of that nature. The other absolute thing you need to have on any holster, regardless if it's mine or someone else's uh, for appendix carry, is uh, the claw or the wing to push the uh, butt of the gun into. The unique thing about this one is that it has a stackable design, right? You have the base and then you can add up to four little, basically they're like Legos, right? Depending on your body type, uh, the type of clothing you wear, things of that nature you can add and take away. I'm a big dude, right? So I've used all four of mine and the gun uh, hides uh, incredibly. Uh, also on this one, just like the clips, you can also uh, raise and lower these down. There's multiple holes. Uh, the adaptability, the uh, customization for your body on these types of uh, attachments is, is it, it's, it's almost to infinity if you really uh, hop in and look at it, right? Also, everyone wants the question, uh, is, are these compatible with DCC clips, discrete carry concept clips? 100% compatible, right? They actually sell them with the website when they're in stock with the holster, you can choose to have either one, that's up to you. Retention points, uh, retention screw, right? Uh, on the thing for adjustable uh, uh, retention uh, based on the light. And then on the other side, we'll flip it around. Uh, you have a bungee system here for retention on the top part of the slide. Now you'll notice that I have a yoga block here. It is nice and ugly. I've had this yoga block for four years running now, right? Since I first cut one up to do it. If you don't want something like this, you can buy the tier one ones that are nice and pretty. Uh, I'm a little bit of a bigger dude. I need more of a bump to make this nice and comfortable and conceal well. Uh, but they have it uh, up to a two and a half inch block now, which are absolutely amazing, right? So something to think also uh, consider, right? As it comes out, nice and smooth. It's, there's not a hitch. On the other hand, the gun stays in as it just barely slides out. That's the way I like my retention because I wear my pretty uh, my belt pretty tight. The gun's not gonna come out, but it has all that retention um, adjustability so that you can uh, adjust it to your preferences. Um, and again, as long as it has an X300U, it will fit your gun. I tested this gun on Glocks, Smith & Wessons, um, Staccato XEs, Staccato P Duos, every size uh, Waltha there is. Even the uh, Luago Arms Alien gear with an X300 will fit in this holster. I really dig it. Like you give it a try. Give me some feedback on what you think if you do get one, all right? More importantly than anything else, be good, stay safe, get training. Thanks.